Game of Thrones season three, episode number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to the season premiere for Game of Thrones season three. Last week, obviously, the season finale of season two ended with a fucking bang, man. I was, I, you know, I was shocked. You know what I mean? Um, episode 9 and 10 were both very, 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 very good. But I feel like episode 10 was a perfect setup leading into season 3, man. Obviously, we got our dragons back. Daenerys and them, they got their dragons. They got gold now for ships so that they can sail. And there's just so much going on, man. We had the introduction of White Walkers. I mean, like, officially White Walkers, not whites, not just talking about them. We seen that motherfucker. And he looked badass as fuck. I just off rip, like... It's probably, the White Walker is probably one of my favorite character designs that I've seen in a show or a movie, honestly, in a while, probably. They just look so badass. They look super dope. I'm excited to see how that storyline kind of progresses and continues, man. We have a bunch of stuff going on in the show. Obviously, we have the storyline going on with John and them, the king on the, um, the king on the other side of the wall, all that stuff. We ended with that last season as well. I got my dog in here right now too guys so if you hear any like barking or anything during the reaction that's why but season two ended off with a bang season three we are here to see what you have to offer man i'm gonna stop wasting time guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode before we do i do ask it if you guys are new to the channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this episode it's John the half hung. So you blast these wildlings. Run! Jesus, man, look at that bitch. Dude, I cannot wait to see how this White Walker storyline goes. Oh my god. Like, I feel like there's so many directions they could take with it. I just I don't know if there's gonna be a time jump or not if we're picking up right off rip. That boy Sam out here barely surviving, man. I'm curious as to why the White Walker wasn't interested in him, though. I'm sure we'll learn, obviously, more about them, but kind of interesting. Damn. Did the White Walkers do that shit to them? <laughs> Motherfucker cut their head off, put it in their hands. Talk about fucking brutal. That kind of looks like White Walker. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Okay, okay. At first, it kind of did. It's a white. Hey! Was that Ghost? Oh, that's right. Ghost never went off with John, did he? Well, he kind of did. But he was, like, kind of all over the place. I guess Ghost ended up going back to the squad. We need to get back to the wall. It's a long march. We know it's out there. But we have to make it. Have to warn them. Or before winter's done, everyone you've ever known will be dead. Damn. See, White Walkers don't care what you fight for, North, South, you know. <laughs> Baratheon, Stark, it don't matter. They coming for everybody, man. Sheesh. The White Walkers, I just feel like there's so much potential for the storyline. I, I don't know. They've been building it up since season one, but it's kind of been like obviously on the back burner compared to the main war that's going on, you know, between like Lannisters and Starks. So it's kind of it's kind of cool seeing it finally coming into fruition, kind of. Plus, we still got winter coming, obviously. Bitch! What the fuck is that? That's literally a giant. They got giants in this fucking show too. What the fuck? Have they seen a giant, Jon Snow? Have they mentioned that before? That's crazy, man. I love all the different types of life in the show. It adds for so much creativity and options. You know, the the dire wolves, the White Walkers, the giants now, the witches, or I guess we're witches kind of. What do we want with the baby claw? This baby killed Coronathan. He wants to be one of us. That half-handed cunt killed the friends of mine. Friends twice your size. My father told me big men fall just as quick as little ones. If you put a sword through their hearts. You 
Your Grace. <laughs> Your Grace? Did you hear that? <laughs> From now on, you'd better kneel every time I fart. They don't do that over here, huh? <laughs> we stopped at Craster's keep on the way north. I saw Craster take his own baby boy and leave it in the woods. I saw what took it. And why would that make you desert your brothers? Because when I told the Lord Commander, he already knew. Thousands of years ago, the first men battled the White Walkers and defeated them. I want to fight for the side that fights for the living. Mm. That was a good um, reason he came up with, man. That probably sold him. We'll need to find you a new cloak. He got accepted, man. Mission passed, baby. That was some good quick thinking on his part, you know? I'm not saying he want to be free would be nothing. Like, okay, go ahead and enjoy us, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Lord Tyrion sent me. I will murder you, boy. He said it was a matter of life and death. Bronn's always going to be there for Tyrion, man. I, I, Tyrion's favorite character in the show, hands down, 100%. This scar just makes him look more badass to me, man. It's your sister. <laughs> yeah. So sad, man. After everything Tyrion's done, you know that for for them, this is some bullshit. If I wanted to kill you, do you think I'd let a wooden door stop me? I mean, you did try and kill him already. Hey, stay outside. I'm not afraid of you, little brother. Man, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm upset. You know, like, she hates him for stupid reasons because he's the reason their mom died, but he couldn't control it, you know what I mean? That's the reason she hates him, right? Like she said in the other episode. Why do you care what I want from him? Because you slandered me to father before. Slandered? When? You told him I had my guards beat that servant girl at Casterly Rock. You did have your guards beat her. A girl of nine, I believe. I was nine too. She lost an eye, if I remember correctly. That's fucked up. A nine-year-old? I expect you'll tell lies about me, about Joffrey. Any lies in particular? You're a clever man. But you're not half as clever as you think you are. Mm. Still makes me more clever than you. So, th does their dad know that Joffrey's a bastard? If you want me to carry on protecting you, you'll need to pay more. I thought we were friends. We are. But I'm a sell sword. I sell my sword. I don't loan it out to friends as a favor. How much? Double. Double? I'm a knight now. Knights are worth double. I don't even know how much I'm paying you now. Which means you can afford it. <laughs> I love their relationship, man. They, they gotta be one of my favorite friendships on this show, man. And like... It doesn't seem like bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, as much as they bullshit with each other, it seems like when it comes down to it, they both actually do, you know, care for one another, you know? Damn, this is what happened to Sir Devos, huh? We didn't see after he got blasted off the ship. Fuck. Help me! That's tough, man. They see him. I was a captain and a knight. Aye, sir. And serving which king? Ah, oh, shit. You better answer right. It's always hard to tell who's with who. You know what I mean? I thought you were dead. Everyone thought you were dead. Oh yeah, it's him. It's one of the pirates that uh, Stannis recruited. And your son? I have to stop her. Please, do this for me. When you're dead, I'll gather your bones in a little sack and let your widow wear them round her neck. He just doesn't, he, he's trying to save him, man. You know what I mean? Sir Devos has been against, uh, kind of been against the, the Red Witch from the start. I'd love a fight. The men would love a fight. I don't think we're going to get one. We on the move. 
I really like Rob's character, man. I feel like start of, uh, in the beginning, you know, actually all the season one, I feel like he was a really low key character kind of, but then he just kind of skyrocketed to being this top guy. 200 Northmen slaughtered like sheep. The debt will be repaid, my friend. For them and for your sons. Will it? They rot in the ground while their killer runs free. The Kingslayer won't remain free for long. The best hunters after him. It's crazy, man. How did all this shit here happen? Because when Arya left, Last time we were here, it was not like this. There's just a couple guards that Jack and killed for her, right? What's your name, friend? Kyburn. You're lucky to be alive. Lucky. He said lucky. He probably wishes he was dead. Shit. I organized the defense of this city while you held court in the ruins of Harrenhal. I led the foray when the enemies were at the gate, while your grandson, the king, quivered in fear behind the walls. I bled in the mud for our family. And as my reward, I was trundled off to some dark little cell. What, what do I want? A little bloody gratitude would be a start. Damn right, Tyrion. I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. That's fucked up. Why? Why? You ask that? You who killed your mother to come into the world? It's fucked you up. You are an ill-made, spiteful little creature. Full of envy, lust, and low cunning. This is fucked up, man. People need to start putting respect on Tyrion. Tyrion was there when you asked him to be there, man. You asked him to be handed a king, he took care of that shit. And now y'all just disrespect the fuck out of him still. After he proved himself, man. Fuck all these bitches here. I hope Tyrion just joins our side, man. Fuck your family name, Tyrion. Fuck the Lannisters. Pissed. I'm waiting for word on an assignment that will take me far away from the capital. When I set sail... I might be able to take you with me, but you'll need to be ready to leave on a moment's notice. Mm. Damn, man. Okay. But I don't know if we can trust Peter. I don't know. He's fucked us over so many times. Oh, shit. Are we at the dragons? Are they flying now, bitch? No chance. Oh, my God. Those things are big now. They got their ship. Oh, look at you, you beautiful creatures. Oh! The music's perfect. Damn, okay. Dude, now she's a force to be in reckon with, man. Some say the Unsullied are the greatest soldiers in the world. The greatest slave soldiers in the world. The distinction means a good deal to some people. Do those people have any better ideas about how to put you on the Iron Throne? Don't uh, mock them. Oh. They're the first Sothraki you've ever been on a ship. They followed me across the poison water. If they'll yeah. do it, others will, and with a true Kalisar. She's grown into her character a lot from the first season when we met her with her brother. She's she's really like just taken over, kind of, you know. Hmm. No reaction, man. She like did some shit to Heard her. Heard you were dead. Not yet. I wasn't there when the wildfire killed our men by the thousands. I could have saved those men. You would have taken the city, Stennis would now sit upon his rightful throne, and you would stand beside him. But I wasn't there, because you convinced your king to leave me behind. I wonder if she really could have done something. Maybe put the fire out somehow. Death by fire is the purest death. That's fucked up, man. She was trying to push him on her. She's a mother of demons! Take him to the dungeon, lock him in a cell. Damn. That ain't that ain't normal Stannis, man. I wonder if she really could have done something. I mean, I know she like worships the god of fire and everything like that, but I wonder if she was just kind of saying that to push her agenda a little bit. Joffrey looks so scared all the time. You'll ruin your dress. 
I have others. She seems so like laid back about everything. Under King Joffrey's leadership, your fathers saved the city. They saved us all. From now on, we're going to take care of you. All of you. This, this is smart on her part, man, because everybody hates Joffrey. So even though Joffrey's not the one doing this, it's probably going to earn him extra points with the people. Tell the good master, there is no need. God damn. Oh my, my God. Out that men don't need nipples. Bitch, what the fuck? He didn't even flinch. Oh, bitch, what the fuck? Some type of scorpion. Oh my god, bitch! Whoa! What the fuck are you, bitch? So, was the cloak person trying to protect them? The honor is mine. My green. Hey! That's why they brought that shit back! That's Sir. Sir. <laughs> Sir Barristan? I know him. I'm all fucking cut. One of the greatest fighters the Seven Kingdoms has ever seen. I am Barristan Selby, King's Guard to your father. Allow me to join your Queen's Guard, and I will not fail you again. Damn, that's a good addition, man. That's what I was wondering why they showed him in the previously because they hadn't mentioned him in a minute. Okay, Sir Barristan, that's a good addition from the way the motherfucker talk, the way they talk about him. Jesus, dude. What a okay. Okay. Game of Thrones season 3 episode 1. What a fucking start. What a fucking bang to the season, man. I enjoyed it. I liked it, man, a lot. So the dragons have gotten a I'd say they probably what? Doubled, maybe tripled in size since we seen them at the end of last season. You know, they look very very they're looking big now. They can fly obviously. But they're growing quick, man. I guess she wants she wants them to be done like now so she can just handle her business, get the throne and everything like that. But all in due time, Daenerys, all in due time, you know. It's kind of cool, though. Like I said during the episode, seeing how far she's come, you know, in season one, she was just this, like, character that was just being essentially whored out by her own brother, you know. And then he ended up dying. She ended up kind of taking over, growing into this character and just... Look at the motherfucker now. You know what I'm saying? Like, the things she's done, the things I'm sure she's gonna do. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so excited for them to just pull up to King's Landing with dragons already and see everybody's fucking reaction to it, you know? I'm kind of curious as to how that's gonna go. I'm kind of curious as to how, you know, what she would do against White Walkers too, like dragons and stuff, you know? Because dragons essentially should just be able to fly over them and just burn all those motherfuckers. So, and obviously, you know, like whites and stuff, they need fire to kill them. So it's literally, dragons are the perfect counter to white walkers as well. So I feel like if she ran into white walkers, it wouldn't even be a fucking problem for her. You know what I mean? She could just, all three of them dragons just fly over them, burning those motherfuckers. But Tyrion, dude, he's done so much, I feel like. You know, like people in the show, like I, the thing that makes me mad his fucking dad and his sister treat him like this one obviously i'm assuming because he's a dwarf and then two because their mom died giving birth to him and that's not his fault you know what i mean like he can't control that 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 that's that's not his fault at all like how can you blame him for that and be mad at him for that you know what i mean that, that kind of irritates me i get you know because she lost her mom he lost his wife and everything but like is it really his fault it's not Tyrion's fault you know like, he cannot control that, man. That's the kind of what pisses me off. Because Tyrion's done so much for them, I feel like. You know? Especially just in the last couple episodes of last season, you know? He kept everybody in check when he was uh, Hand of the King. He led them, you know, out to battle and kind of stopped them from breaking into the walls. Tyrion's just done a good amount. And I feel like they are not putting respect on his name like they should, man. I, like, I, I I feel like Tyrion's just going to reach a breaking point and he's just going to switch sides eventually, you know, because he can't, he's not just going to take this bullshit forever, you know, so I, I, I hope he switches sides, but then again, I don't know, family name, all that shit, even if he does switch sides, I don't, I don't know who he would join necessarily, you know, so it's kind of hard, but I just, 
Put some respect on Tyrion's name, man. That motherfucker's done a lot. That's that, that's what I gotta say about that whole situation, man. But another dope episode of Game of Thrones in the books. Uh, I feel like it's a really good start to the season to kind of set up everything else. Like we 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 keep on inching closer and closer. I feel like the pacing of this show from season one all the way till now has just been perfect, man. Like each episode, we get a good amount of lore, we get a good amount of action. Like we're left on a cliffhanger. But it's not like a cliffhanger where I'm like, fuck, dude, like, why why didn't they show this this episode? It's more so like, damn, they showed us a lot, and now we still have to think about this next week, you know? And I feel like a lot of shows have a problem with, um, with their pacing sometimes, especially, like, shows like The Walking Dead. Some of their episodes are just slow as all hell, and then some of them are like, okay, this is way too much action. But like I said, this show, I feel like, does it perfectly, man. Every single episode I watch... We get little bits and pieces of each storyline and it, it keeps you intrigued in all of them you know like you get a good like 20 minutes of each story you know give or take depending on what one we're doing sometimes more sometimes less but it's just like enough to kind of keep you refreshed keep it in your mind and kind of keep you interested in it like all the storylines going on i'm interested as fucking the white walkers you know john with um mance raider beyond the wall the stuff with Rob and the Lannisters obviously still going on. Tyrion's kind of side story from that, you know, and then there's just a little bit of everything. And even the main storylines have side storylines branching off, you know, all the stuff going on with Daenerys. This show is just, it, it's pacing is fucking phenomenal, man. I don't know how it changes or if it changes over the seasons, but if they continue on like this, man, this might be one of my favorite shows of all time. Guys, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you all did enjoy the video that you just watched. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest supporters over on Patreon the homie Supernova, the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Dude Tim, and the homie Silas Kane. Shout out to you guys for supporting me at my highest tier over on Patreon, guys. Link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below to get access to a bunch of cool things such as early access, full length reaction, polls, and tons of other stuff, man. Appreciate all you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.